Antibody diversity presentation is created by Creative Biolabs. Before one month ago, we detailed antibody structure and function. If you are interested in it, welcome to look at blogs of Creative Biolabs. Antibodies are antigen binding proteins present on the B cell membrane and secreted by plasma cell. What is antibody diversity? There are millions of antigens or epitope. Our immune system has the ability to produce specific antibody variable region against all antigens. This diversification in antibody production is known as antibody diversity, but there is a problem. In our basic concept one gene only can code each protein which forms almost all immunoglobulins. According to one gene one protein concept, our genetic system should contain millions of genes to produce million types of Ig. In fact, there are around 40,000 genes in our genome. This genes codes for all kind of proteins in our system like enzymes, regulatory proteins, immunoglobulins, etc. There are only a few genes in our genome that code for Ig. But our immune system apparently produce antibody in the order of 10 to the 10th power. How does this become possible? There are five kind of source for providing antibody diversity. They are antibody gene rearrangement, junctional diversity, isotype swivsing, somatic hypermutation and affinity maturation. Here we mainly detail antibody gene rearrangement process and basic principle. Antibody diversity is produced in B lymphocyte development state. So before we present gene rearrangement, we should learn about B cells development. B cells develop from hematopoietic stem cells, HSCs, that originate from bone marrow. HSCs first differentiate into multipotent progenitor, MPP, cells, then common lymphoid progenitor, CLP, cells. From here, their development in 2B cells occurs in several stages shown this slide share. The cells undergo DJ joining on the H chain chromosome to become early pro-B cells. Joining of IV segment to the DJH completes the late pro-B cell stage. Pro-B cells become pre-B cells when they express membrane M chains with surrogate light chains in the pre-B receptor. Surrogate light chains resemble actual light chains but are the same on every pre-B cell. Following proliferation, small pre-B cells, no longer dividing, undergo VJ joining on one L chain chromosome. Once cell chain has been successfully synthesized, it is expressed with M chain on the cell membrane and the cell is called an immature B cell. Immature B cells are very sensitive to antigen binding, so if they bind self-antigen in the bone marrow they die. B cells that do not bind self-antigen express D-chain and membrane IgD with their IgM about the time they leave the marrow and become mature naive resting B cells. B cell activation occurs in the secondary lymphoid organs SLOs, such as the spleen and lymph nodes. After B cells mature in the bone marrow, they migrate through the blood to SLOs, which receive a constant supply of antigen through circulating LYBPH. Meta-2B cell is activated by antigen stimulation and differentiates IgM secreting plasma cells. Each cellular clone synthesized in a GC produces isotypes of the same class specific for a given antigen. During the evolution of immune responses, there is a class switching in Ig classes from IgM to Ig, IgA and Ig. And one fraction of the B cell progeny develops in memory B cells. In this section, we detail organization of antibody genes. Antibody molecules are encoded by three independent groups of genes. Two genes dictate lambda chains. One comprises V lambda and C lambda genes, kappa comprises V kappa and C kappa genes, while the third group dictates H chains and has VH and CH genes. 
The genetic locus which encodes the Kappa-Li chain gene is located on the short arm of chromosome 2. The Kappa locus contains a total of 82 genes in two large clusters including 76 to 85 IgKV gene segments, 5 IgKJ segments and a single unique IgKC gene encoding the Kappa constant domain. Only about 31 to 36 of the IgKV genes, which fall into six sequence-related groups, are considered to produce functional V-kappa chains. In distinct contrast to the kappa genes, the lambda gene locus is comprised of multiple distinct C lambda regions, each of which may possess its own associated J lambda segment. These lambda genes are tandemly arranged along the long arm of chromosome 22. The lambda locus spans 1,050 kbp and has a total of 87 to 96 genes, including 73 to 74 IgVL genes, 7 to 11 IgLJ genes and 7 to 11 IgLC genes. Of these, it has been determined that 29 to 33 of the IgVL genes, which fall into 10 sequence groupings, can produce functional proteins. Additionally, 4 to 5 of the IgLJ genes and 4 to 5 of the IgLC genes are thought to be functional. The heavy chain variable region is itself composed of three segments, V, variable chain, D, diversity chain, and J, joining chain, while the light chain variable region has two segments, V and J. There are a total of 170 to 134 IgH immunoglobulin heavy chain genes, of which 76 to 84 are thought to be functional. The functional genes, i.e. those that can be incorporated into functional Ig proteins, include 38 to 46 IgHV genes. 39 is the number given by many sources that fall into 6 to 7 families based on sequence similarity, 23 IGHD genes, 6 IGHJ genes, and 9 IGHC immunoglobulin heavy chain constant genes. The following antigen-independent steps in B-cell development occur in the bone marrow. Stem cell, heavy chain, IgH, and kappa and lambda light chain, IgK and IgL, genes are in germline configuration. Early pro B cell, IgH undergoes DJ gene rearrangement with loss of DNA between the joint D and J segments. Late pro B cell, IgH undergoes VDJ rearrangement, VDJ rearrangement with loss of DNA between the joint V and D segments. Small pre-B cell, VJ rearrangement of light chain genes. Kappa chain is rearranged first then, if rearrangement of both kappa alleles is unsuccessful, lambda chain is rearranged. Large pre-B cell, intracellular expression and transient surface expression of M chain with invariant pseudo light chain, pre-B cell receptor. The following antigen dependent steps in B cell development take place in the periphery. Immature B cell IgM surface expression. In the most common scenario, a VDJ segment joins first with C mu genes and subsequently with C lambda, C epsilon, C alpha genes with synthesis of a complete HIgM chain, etc. Without an associated L chain, surface expression is not possible and only cytoplasmic mu is found pre B cells. Mature naive B cell, IgD and IgM expressed on cell surface, made from alternatively spliced transcripts. Lymphoblast alternative splicing results in secreted IgM. Memory B cell, isotype switch to Ig. Somatic hypermutation of IgH occurs in the germinal center of lymph nodes. Mutated Ig are selected for improved antigen binding in a process termed affinity maturation.
Early during B lymphocyte development, rearrangement of one of the D gene segments to one of the J segments takes place regulated by the recombinous activating genes RAG1 and RAG2. Subsequently, rearrangement of one of the V gene segments to the DJ segment occurs. The primary RNA transcript is being processed by splicing the VDJ segment to a constant region gene segment. C. Based on different constant chain, mRNA is translated to different heavy chains forming antibodies various isotypes. Light chain gene rearrangement principle and process is similar with that of heavy chain genes. There is no D genes in light chains. Kappa chain is rearranged first then. If rearrangement of both kappa alleles is unsuccessful, lambda chain is rearranged. VDJ recombination proceeds via precise DNA cleavage initiated by the RAG proteins RAG1 and RAG2 at short conserved signal sequences. Whatever their precise role, the coordinated expression in pre-B is essential for the rearrangement of IG genes, but RAG activity is switched off in mature lymphocytes. Rearrangements are carefully orchestrated, following the principle of allelic exclusion, that is, in each B cell is transcribed the gene product of only one of each chromosome pair. The gene located on the second chromosome typically is not used. To prevent contemporary synthesis of H chains with differing V domains in any given cell, it is an allele. A term designating two genes or two or more alternate forms of a single gene occupying the same locus. The gene on the second chromosome is not rearranged unless a non-productive rearrangement occurs when rearrangements are non-productive on both chromosomes. Cell death ensues, thereby by clarifying why the same B lymphocytes within their entire life span can produce only a single type of L chain, kappa or lambda. I, G, V, D, and J gene segments are flanked by conserved recombination signal sequences, RSS, consisting of a heptamer and a nonamer, separated by a non-conserved spacer of either 12 or 23 nucleotides. The 12 to 23 base per rule first postulated to explain IG gene rearrangement. Virtually. During a rearrangement, a gene with a flanking sequence containing a 12 base per spacer can only join to a gene whose flanking sequence has a 23 base per spacer and vice versa. Thereby elucidating the precise order of IG gene transcriptions. Firstly, RAG1 recognizes RSS and form complex of RAG1, RAG2 which cut single sequence of DNA. And then a hairpin is formed by addition of copies of the last nucleotides of the coding region, templated or P additions, or by random nucleotide additions by the enzyme TDT, TDT, N additions. The joining of the coding ends of the rearranged gene segments is imprecise due to base additions, base losses and out-of-frame joining. This imprecision of joining generates junctional diversity. There is similar gene rearrangement mechanism in T cells, T lymphocytes. Understanding of immunoglobulin diversity and sequence has opened up a new world of possibilities. One. We can know the sequence of monoclonal antibody for single target which can study the mechanism of related disease. 2. Any known human CDR sequence can be engineered in mice genome to form humanized or chimeric antibody for clinical use. 3. Construct antibody library by antibody sequence knowledge to get more effective antibody for target related some disease. The principle of antibody diversity is completely understood. There is very close relationship in amino acid sequence and antibody function. As we know, there is huge diverse function between two antibodies which have almost same amino acid even if one amino acid is different. Based on it, accuracy of antibody sequencing is very important in related research. 
Creative Biolabs provides world-class de novo antibody sequencing services with 100% accuracy for research, diagnostic, and therapeutic industries. If you are interested in learning more about how we can help with your projects, please don't hesitate to contact us at info at creative-biolabs.com or call us at 1-631-871-5806. We will be more than happy to serve you.